Hi guys, it's Maka Pussy here and we're back with another music making video for the album. Today we are going to record and EQ and mix the bass line for the first song that we have done, which is called The Wasp. Yeah, that's what, that's what we're going to do. It's gonna, this is going to be a short one because ah, I'm a bass player. The bass is easy. So, and there's only one of them. So this is going to be fairly short and sweet. So we'll go in, we'll get it written, we'll get it recorded, we'll get it mixed, and then at the end, you'll get to hear the song in its entirety, musically, without the singing. And hopefully, hopefully you like it. So stick around to the end of the video for that. Okay, so first things first, the first thing that I want to do is get my bass, make sure it's in tune before I start trying to record anything. You watch loads of recording videos on YouTube and like FL Studio production tips. They kind of tend to sit there and tell you that you record your guitar in clean and then you can put your effects on after the fact. Ah. Kind of, it's just, I kind of feel like if I get it set up properly in advance with the effects on it, if you've got it going through your audio interface and you can hear it, then you can kind of mix it live as you're going before you start recording. And then when you press record, what you're going to get is exactly what you were going to do post-production wise anyway. My plan is to go in, set my bass up to sound exactly how I want it to sound on the final version and then record it. So the first thing we need to do is make sure the bass is in tune, plug it in, add a little wee bit of effects and stuff. I'll show you how to do a bus so that you can control various different aspects of the bass sound because I'm going to have two different things happening. And then from there, we'll get it recorded. Right about that, that's peaking. So, turn that down. I want to eh, connect that to that and then turn that one because then you'll be getting twice as much, right? You turn that right the fuck down here, right? Because on insert 23, you'll have the same thing. So th that's also getting it. But we'll put a little bit of fucking distortion on it. Because then when we turn that up, Even that's a bit much. And then we'll EQ this bass. So I think that's kind of sounding all right. Actually, you know what? I'm, I, I think that does actually when it's in with the rest of it, I don't think it sounds too bad. Now that the bass guitar has been recorded and it is laid down and it's got it's the post-production already added in, now what we need to do is, is go in, listen to it as a whole, see how it properly sounds now that it's actually recorded and stuff, see if there's any tweaks that we need to make, if so, adjust them until we've got the song sounding exactly the way that we want it. Why does that sound so weak? Right, it, it doesn't sound great. To be honest, it needs a bit of tweaking, but we'll we'll get there. I mean that's then nice, sir. Huh? All I did was turn the guitars up. <laughs> so 
the thing with that is right is that like when you're listening to it especially because I'm playing the root notes it's kind of easy to not really notice it but if I go like you know what I mean it's definitely there Hey, I'll take the placebo reference. I like placebo. Ah, that's nice. Okay, ready? That worked. That was cool. Yes, okay. And that's that, guys. That's it. That, 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 that is that song done so we still need to do the vocals for the song but the vocals get a need to get done in a studio elsewhere that is a thing that will be happening down the line for anybody who is following this series then we will be moving on to the next tracks after this if you're interested if you've enjoyed that one you want to hear more of them feel free to like follow subscribe whatever the fuck the options are in whatever form you're watching i will Hopefully see you next time. I've been Mark Busy. Thank you very much for watching.